hello and welcome along. Today we're going to be looking at this. This is the Lex Moto Impulse, first of the electric scooters to come out. And uh, we're going to get up close and personal with this on the second camera in just a second. But while we're just doing the walk round on this one, just get a couple of the refinements of this bike in. So we have front facing camera on this. Now this records to a unit and an SD card just under the seat and we'll be showing you that in just a while. So you've got a nice set of big tyres on these, running the 14 inch on these ones. And then we just get in on the dashboard. Now the one thing I do like about this, when you fire it up, turn it on. The Bluetooth device is ready to power. So it's got Bluetooth on it, which means if you happen to have Google Maps or you want to put your music through it, you can run that all through that speaker system that is on the bike. Just going to open the seat up and show you this as well. So underneath the seat, you have your charging pack, your toolkit and this little black box now this takes your SD card and that is what records that front facing camera very very easy just to get here and just pull this little loop that is down here that will pop that center partition up and just under there is that 60 volt battery now we depleted the battery on this right down to 1% just to see what we could do and how long it would take to charge it's been on charge for 2 hours and 14 minutes today just before we did this ride test and we had 68% on it now just walking around the back of the bike a full LED system to the back and a nice little hugger to the rear of this one so we're just going to switch up now and go up to the second camera and just show you up close and personal on this vehicle so just getting up close and personal on this so first things to do is just to show you the electric motor on this one and just getting in low now that motor is actually in the rear wheel now it has regenerative charging on this one as well so bosch one and a half kilowatt motor or 1500 watts nice big swing arm to this one you've got side stand and the main stand on this one and then you've got those disc brakes to the front on this so we'll just have a nice walk around on this get up close twin shocks to the front on this and then just getting nice and low you've got those nankangs on there and they are the 12 inch tires on this one nice set of rear pegs on this so should you want to take a pillion out as well you can do that and you've got that disc brake to the rear of the bike again up on the front getting up close you have a usb charger and two nice little storage pockets little one just there and the larger storage pocket just to the side now on the dash on this one, when you actually fire it up and it's going to fire up and say the Bluetooth, the Bluetooth is ready to pair. Is ready to pair. So what you do, right hand control here, you'd lift that up. That will bring you into that ready mode and you've got three different modes on this one. So you've got the sport mode, the eco mode and the comfort mode. So we're going to try this in all three. I'm going to set that to eco to start and just get a look at these brake fluid reservoirs on this in the nice bright blue and those nice high mirrors for the vision behind. So we're going to switch back to the drift camera on the helmet, take this out, give it a ride and show you what it's like. So seated on the bike, very, very easy to do. Now on the functions on this, go to the left hand, you've got your main beam, dip beam, indicators are push and to the center to turn them off, horn, and then you've got just your amp check just by using that horn button off to the side to check you've got the right amps. Now this has got regenerative braking on this, so we've already done two miles and we're down to 58% but very very quiet off this electric motor now obviously we are at the moment in the eco mode so running in eco mode and just winding it up now the eco mode does save the battery a lot and takes you a bit of time to get there and that sits around about 20 mile an hour on the eco mode so if you're doing sort of back streets then you're going to get about 20 mile an hour now you'll notice that this little fuel container it shows a picture of a fuel container just off to the side and that is your regenerative braking on this one I'm going to switch the motor we're going to go to sport mode on this one and then we're going to pull it out into traffic now obviously all you have to remember is this is 30 mile an hour which is what a standard 50cc would do so if you happen to be 16 or you happen to have a full car license before 2001 you do not need if you've got a full car license to take a CBT test if you happen to be 16 and you're looking for a 50cc twist and go and you're thinking of something different and you want to go electric you can ride one of these 
Now I'm in full sport mode, which is maximum power, and that is sitting, as it would, at 30 miles an hour. Now obviously, if it, you're using this as an urban commute, or you happen to be in one of the main cities, where you have to go into a congestion zone and they charge you for using your car, maybe a scooter is the next option for you and you can have a run on one of these and the best thing about this is no vehicle tax on this vehicle you do not have to pay for vehicle tax once again no worries about having to put petrol in and very minor servicing on these there is nothing to do there are no oil changes no worrying about uh, having to do tappets or valves with an engine all you've got to worry about is your brake pads and obviously that motor and your bolt check but going round the roundabout, very, very stable on these 12 inch tyres. And the functions are very, very easy to use on this. And it does steer very, very well. It's a very light bike. Obviously, the only heavy weight to it is that battery that is just down under my feet. But I do have loads of leg room on this. And the mirrors, I've got an absolutely perfect 100% view on their mirrors. Their mirrors are set very, very wide, so I've got a 100% view behind me of the road and all those vehicles behind me. And obviously some people are going to say, dual, dual carriageway, 30 mile an hour. Yes, but if you were on a 50cc that was 30 mile an hour, you'd get exactly the same thing. Now most of the roads in Milton Keynes are all dual carriageway, hence why you have two lanes. There is loads of room for people to overtake me. It's got a very, very thin aperture on the road, so it's not a big wide bike as you'd expect. Nice and easy to use, but the best thing is, no exhaust noise. Now some people say, oh yes, but the people can't hear you coming. Point taken, but you've got a nice set of bright LEDs to the front of this when the bike is running so if you've got lights on not a problem and obviously the best thing about this is it has a front facing camera so you haven't got to worry about putting a helmet on your camera you haven't got to worry about uh, attaching GoPros or other recordable devices to your mirrors or your handlebars because that camera is fitted to the front of the bike so for insurance purposes it is just the same as you having a black box because it records absolutely everything off of that front facing camera now that is located as i showed you earlier on that little box that is just under the rear seat now that takes a sim card and it's very very easy to slide the box out pop the sim card pop that into your computer should you need it if you have the event of an accident so all recordable footage and it's better to have a camera than no camera but obviously you haven't got to worry about is it turned on did i remember to record it because what happens with that sim card once you've got to the end of that uh, sim card it will just re-record over your old footage so you haven't even got to worry about using up the sim card because it will just re-record over the old material so you haven't even got to worry about any of those functions get on ride and you know you're covered with the front facing camera now off that front facing camera there is a very very good view of the road in front i have actually did a few um, bits and pieces where i recorded the ride and the view is as good as what you're seeing on my drift cam at the moment so you get a nice spread of the road the traffic and all the junctions so if you happen to be into electric bikes check out the lexmoto range they have the impulse the g5 the added g5 and the elex along with that uh, electric cypher and the cypher is an absolutely beautiful bike but this little impulse as a run around for town now obviously i've done five miles and just see that regenerative braking kicking in on the left on that little petrol container just to say that it's you've hit the brakes you're recharging the system so if you happen to live in a very hilly area the regen is going to work absolutely perfectly so five miles in and i'm still at 50 percent on this now the range on these round about 40 miles and that depends on the weight of the rider and obviously your road riding conditions on how much you push the vehicle now obviously i've got this in full sport mode if i was to uh, flick it back into just comfort mode i'm going to save the batteries a little bit but you're still getting a good speed out of this bike and then once again brakes on that regenerative is just kicking in 
Now obviously for pullaways at junctions, I'd always say get it in the uh, best function that you can into that sport mode and it doesn't take very long just to get this vehicle up to speed. So just pulling away, we're just going to count this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, around about 10 seconds, I'd say, to get that up to 30, which is about the same as you would if you had one of the uh, petrol versions of the Echoes. But very, very nice. And then once you actually take your hand away from the power, you're still maintaining a little bit of speed so you're not getting the engine braking like you would on a petrol bike and that is one of the things you have to get used to obviously there is no engine braking on one of these as soon as you turn the motor off it still goes and I'm still doing 30 now obviously going down a hill you wouldn't have to worry about giving it any beans because it would just roll down the hill and free will for you then you could also use the regen on that but very very easy to use all the functions on this and it is a lovely ride so we're going to start uh, heading back now if you happen to be into the electric market go and check out the Lexmodo pages lexmodo.co.uk check out your nearest dealer and then obviously leave your opinions on the bottom of the page we'd like to hear your comments what you think of this bike and obviously we're going to be doing a few more of these electrics G5 and the Elex to come up shortly and until then it's a big goodbye from me